Hello, third graders. If you missed today's live session, then you missed a review or more practice on how to use a number line to show multiplication and how it all ties into skip counting. And we watched the skip counting video below this one, so make sure you check that out for your counting by two, skip counting by twos assignment. So practice skip counting by two today and complete the skip counting by twos assignment, which is below this video. So for our lesson today, we did this problem together. Um, and this is in our practice buddy independent practice um, inside of our Envision books. Um, this is just an extension of our Envision books. So this is this might be a problem that you might see in there. So I'm going to go ahead and read the problem. And then we're going to go up here to question help. And we're going to watch a video that's going to help us solve this question. Now the main thing that we need to know when solving this question is how many groups we have and how many is in the, each group. That's very, very important when you're trying to use a number line to solve a multiplication problem. So I'm going to read the question and I want you to think about that. How many groups do I have and how many is in each group? John has four fruit baskets. He wants to put two peaches into each basket. How many peaches will he need? Draw the remaining jumps on the number line with arrows to show how many peaches John will need. So we just have to pick between A, B, C, or D. So let's take a closer look at this problem. First of all, we need to know how many groups we have here. So if we're looking at the question, it says John has four groups. He has four fruit baskets, and he wants to put two peaches in each basket. So how many groups does he have? Well, if you think four, you are correct. He has four groups. Now, he wants to put two peaches into each of his baskets. And so we need to find the number line that shows five jumps of two. But before we do that, let's watch this video that will help us. Today you're going to use skip counting to multiply. Today you're going to use skip counting to multiply. Have you seen one of these? Of course, a number line. Hey Jada, have you ever used one for multiplication? Um, don't worry, I'll show you. Multiplication means that we have equal groups. We can use our number line to Remember that multiplication means we have equal groups. You cannot multiply without equal groups. Skip count each of those groups. Let's say we are buying fruit bars. Each box has four fruit bars, and I buy three boxes. So you have three groups of four, or three times four. Right, so then we can demonstrate that on the number line. I am going to skip count by fours because there are four bars in a box. I am going to skip count three times, once for each box that I bought. Let me try. This is the first box of four. The second box, the third box. Jada showed us three boxes with four bars in each. She showed us that three times four is 12. Mm -hmm. We bought 12 bars. So the jumps we made represented each group. That's very important to know when using this strategy, that the jumps equal the number of groups you have. So there are three groups here. So the number line needs to demonstrate or show three jumps, three jumps. Remember that first number in a multiplication equation tells you how many groups you have. Three, three, three groups, three jumps. That second number, that second factor in the multiplication equation tells you how many are in each group. 
How many are in each group? Four here, four here, four here. It's the same as saying four plus four plus four. Or skip counting by fours. Four, eight, twelve. Now that twelve, that's not a factor. That's called the product, which is the answer to a multiplication equation. So remember, that first factor right here tells you how many jumps to do or how many groups you have. Just like multiplication. You got it. Now you have another tool to help you with multiplication. Yes, number line is a great tool to use to solve multiplication equations, and that's why we are learning it. And we're also learning that skip counting can be used to solve multiplication equations. So let's go back to our question. So John has four fruit baskets. We know that we need to find a number line that shows four fruit baskets. And we need to find the number line that shows two in each basket. So let's look. One, two, three. I'm looking at D. Hmm, that's only three groups. Let's look up here. One, two, three, four, five jumps. No, it's not that one. I'm looking for four jumps. One, two, three, four. Oh, that shows four jumps, but let's look at this. Two peaches in each basket. Oh, wow. This number line doesn't even show equal groups. Check this out. It goes from zero to two, two to four, and then it jumps from four all the way to eight. So it's two groups of two here, and then right here, it jumped one, two, three, four. They started jumping by fours here. That wouldn't be multiplication at all because you need equal groups in multiplication. In order to multiply, you need equal groups. So let's check out A, four fruit baskets. One, two, three, four. Four jumps of, are there two in between here? Are they counting by twos? Two. Four, six, eight, ding, ding, ding. That's the one. That is the answer. Look at this. Shows four jumps of two. That's exactly what we wanted. So now it's your turn. You're going to.